On the Young Turks, we had a young woman named Sandra Fluke on the program. The reason we did was because the Republicans had denied her uh, an ability to speak out at a hearing on this issue of contraception. She wanted to speak out because um, someone she knew at Georgetown University had uh, to have an ovary removed because uh, she needed uh, to contraception to prevent the growth of cysts. And she couldn't get to contraception because uh, Je Georgetown being a Jesuit university uh, denied her the contraception and she didn't have enough money for it on her own. Now that was one of many examples she gave here on the Young Turks, actually on the current show, and, uh, and wanted to testify about because women actually need these contraceptions for a variety of reasons, including health reasons, and they're young college students who can't necessarily afford it and it winds up having consequences. Now that's an important statement to make. The Republicans denied it and instead they had an all-male panel and a couple of the Democrats walked out of that hearing. Now Rush Limbaugh is going to talk about Sandra Fluke, of course he's going to call her Susan Fluke, uh, and, uh, and he's got a unique theory on her instead. Let's watch. What does it say about the college co-ed Susan Fluke, who goes before a congressional committee and essentially says that she must be paid to have sex? What does that make her? It makes her a slut, right? Makes her a prostitute. She wants to be paid to have sex. She's having so much sex she can't afford the contraception. She wants you and me and the taxpayers to pay her to have sex. What does that make us? We're the pimps. The Johns. That's right. We would be the Johns. No! We're not the John. Well. Uh, well, uh, yeah, that's right. Pimp's not the right word. Okay, so she's not a slut. She's round-heeled. I take it back. Round-heeled, of course, is an old way of saying slut. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, she must be paid to have sex. What, did she testify to that effect when she eventually spoke in front of the Democrats? Did she say that? No. Did she even talk about it in terms of sex? She could have. She sh maybe she should have. And you know what? Everybody has a right to sex, and uh, and it's not Rush Limbaugh's business to get into our personal lives and tell us whether we should or should not have sex. But did she say I'd like to be paid for it? No. She said she talked about it in terms of health and the health consequences, and uh, and she and the taxpayers aren't paying her. Or they're not paying anyone. No. First of all, the uh, under Obama's compromise, the company uh, the money comes from the insurance companies. The insurance companies save money. Because uh, if a woman gets pregnant, they pay more. So they don't want her to get pe pregnant, so they want to pay for the contraception. Now, also, we all pay into the insurance, not as taxpayers, but as clients of those insurance companies, including people like Sandra Fluke, et cetera, et cetera. So we all pay into insurance. When we take it back, it's not like we're subsidized by the taxpayers. We paid into it, right? So all those things are misnomers. But obviously, I'm burying the lead here. He's calling her a slut. So let's take, there's two different angles on that. Number one, so apparently any woman who has sex or uses contraception is a slut in Rush Limbaugh's book. And it, even worse, a prostitute, okay? How dare she want her health care to cover contraception? What a slut she is. Really, you think that's a winning way to go in this country? To call all women who are having sex sluts? All right, have at it. See how that works out for you. I mean, that's really the w direction you're going to go. Okay, great. Number two, Rush Limbaugh talking about other people's sex lives, calling other people sluts. You know that he was stopped on his way back from his solo vacation to the Dominican Republic with a gallon of Viagra. I forget if it was exactly a gallon, a bucket. You know, how much Viagra he needed on that trip to the Dominican Republic. Now, at that point, he wasn't married at all. I hope that he wasn't using that Viagra with other women. I mean, that would make him a slut, wouldn't it? I mean, what kind of a horrible slut would do that? And not only that, Viagra is often covered under our insurance. So you're telling me that the taxpayers are paying for Rush Limbaugh to get laid in the Dominican Republic, probably with prostitutes? That's probably why he is familiar with the words John and pimp. But pretended, but stumbled over it. Oh, would I be the John or would I be the pimp? I don't know. I get confused because I'm 
I've, I've done those things in the past, obviously. Who were you having sex with in the Dominican Republic, Rush? You want to get into other people's sex lives, right? All right, okay, let's get into people's sex. You want to call people sluts? You want to talk about prostitutes? Did you or did you not have sex with hookers in the Dominican Republic? If they weren't hookers, were they other people? Were they married? Were they unmarried? Were they uh, overage? Were they underage? I don't know. We're asking because you're in people's sex lives, so I'm in yours. What did you need all that Viagra for in the Dominican Republic? And if you're not married, why'd you need it at all? I thought you only were supposed to do it within marriage. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it that when a man does it, it's really cool, but when a woman does it, she's a slut? That's Rush Limbaugh for you right there.